What's up, everybody? It is Andrew and it's Dante. We are live in Final Fantasy 13. And I think it's pretty good. Dante's never, I have never, never seen, seen it, it before. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. a fing, I just don't. That's not that Final Fantasy is a bad game. I just never really had like a desire to play it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this looks okay for the most part. Yeah, it's very um, pretty. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a dude, very pretty some... game. Um, I'm playing it on Xbox One. It recently came out on Game Pass and they enhanced it a little bit for the Xbox One. Uh, because it's originally Xbox Ooh. 360, PS3 game. So it makes it look a little bit better. And so I'm excited to try it out. So... So these so, prisoners, like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, we are prisoners on this train. Okay. So is this like the, I uh, know it's not prequel, but is Lightning Returns a sequel to this? Yes. Um, Final Fantasy 13 is like one of the only Final Fantasies to actually get direct sequels. And the only one to get two sequels. Nice. Yeah. Is this supposed to be, is this supposed to be Barrett? No, no. Uh -oh. They're completely unrelated, but essentially, it's Lady Cloud and Skinny Barrett Lady <laughs> on a train. Right. Ooh, 63 Cloud. <laughs> yeah. Who also fights Morgan, with guns. And Morgan Freeman fight. Barrett. <laughs> yeah. What the hell yeah. is that? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Um, her name is Lightning. Because oh, of course it is. About lightning returns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm making a little and sense to you know she is very stoic, badass character who fights with a sword that also turns into a gun. It's it's very interesting. Oh, it's a gun blade. All right. Yeah. She what? She has a gun blade. She's basically you know Cloud and Squall put together. She's Cloud Light. <laughs> yeah, and voiced by Liara Tassoni. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember when... This, uh, the PS3 and Xbox 360 generation was a good time for, for Allie Hillis. She got three trilogies. Or she got two trilogies oh, yeah. to work with. It was great. It's awesome. Yeah. She's really great. Fucking trains are flying and shit. This is a, there's a lot going on for us just having this casual conversation. Like, what the... Like, <laughs> I yeah, get. you know how it goes. Give me a little backstory on like what the fuck is going on here, because I'm I'm seeing things. I'm just like I'm totally lost. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little interesting. Oh, Basically, water uh, tigers. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so everybody here, well, I guess the powers that be uh, can summon monsters. The technology is ridiculous looking. Um, the bad guys are the Lassie essentially, which are beings that are given a focus that they have to perform, and if they don't do it, they turn into monsters. Oh. Yeah. Where have I heard kind that of before? like um, the fiends from Final Fantasy X. Kind of like. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, see, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is it turn-based or is this one action too? Uh, there's a little bit of that. It's it's kind of a hybrid system. It is it is turn-based combat, but it's more actiony. Hey, hey, hey. Let's be now. Also, Ooh, nah. <laughs> um, I will say this: uh, Thirteen has one of my favorite soundtracks in the series. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You're pretty picky when it comes to the LSTs. Oh shit. Oh yeah. It's a very simplistic battle system, though. Very simplistic. I'm not going to go through the tutorial. I don't need it. Uh, skip that tutorial. Don't need it. Uh, for now, we're just going to focus on the auto battle se <laughs> section because there's not much else we can do right now. Like, we can attack uh. or we can blitz, which is, like, basically just a really strong attack. And I'll show you what that is. What is a blitz? Yep. So, like Final Fantasy VII Remake... Um, every every enemy in the game has a stagger meter, and once you get them staggered, the damage you do to them increases by a lot. 
Ooh. Yeah. So, the focus, so especially in this game, like, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So the focus is you want to hit them uh, while they while they're uh, standing, like while they're fully fully charged. You basically want to hit them with like little P hits, and then once they stagger, P that's hits. when you can switch up your your attack style and go for the heavy hits. What the fuck is a P hit? <laughs> yeah, you can use your like more powerful attacks and then it'll do way more damage. Gotcha. Yeah. And <laughs> Sauce, who is Barrett essentially, skinny Barrett with guns, has a little baby chocobo chick. That's okay, that was I was gonna ask you, was that a chocobo chick or was that like a chick chick? That's a, yeah, that's a that's a chocobo chick. So, yep. He's got that stagger meter. Well, so when you are fighting, you oh, want to do a little bit of damage every time. Whoa. Yeah, it's a big strong boy. And then you can swap over to the, the big hits. But I just wanted to do that. One of the different things about this game that kind of makes it a little bit more interesting is that you always fully heal at the end of every battle so it makes each battle more difficult like it gives you time to focus more on every battle in addition well, to that you don't, have to you don't have to waste fucking healing potions too exactly like, in addition to that fight. the potions every like every item affects everybody in the party that's cool the, yeah which is good unfortunately um like kingdom hearts and i think like Kingdom Hearts and Persona 5, um, if your main character like falls in battle, you, you then the game, completely. then then you lose the fight, no matter what. It doesn't matter uh, if you've got. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it so much either, but it it definitely makes things more interesting. Didn't they fix that in Royal? Or did they not like touch that at all? I don't know. I never. I barely played Final Fantasy 15. Well, not uh, 15. I mean. Um, or, Persona, yeah. Oh, no, they did not. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing some Persona 5 on my own. Um, I really like the game. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a few quality of life changes that I like that they did for Royal that I kind of want to purchase now. Yeah, I would recommend... Like game over. Yeah. yeah, it's very difficult to jump back into Persona 5 Royal. I'm going to turn on the sub subtitles as soon as I get out of this cutscene, though, just so people can yeah, understand right. what's happening. <laughs> Because yeah, I can't hear shit. Yeah. Well, I can hear it, but I don't want to like turn yeah. this up and then having to hear you. Like, uh, yeah, I don't want to fight between two volumes. Yeah, I got that. So I'm going to turn on the subtitles as soon as I can. But yeah. Uh, if It's so difficult for me to g jump back into Persona 5 Royale just because I've already beaten the original and I don't want to go back through it again. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't. I loved playing through the very first temp like uh, temple, but. Some of them, no, I do not need that. Some of them, it's just, some of the other temples are just hard to jump into. Sure we can get through here. Come on, you want to start the Kamashita one over again? <laughs> I mean, I like Kamashita's uh, palace. Uh, I hated it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Event Granted, it's the only palace oh, that I've actually done, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like we mm -hmm. had this conversation before, and I can't remember when I asked this again, but have you played Strikers yet? I have not. I uh, I haven't bothered getting it yet. I'm waiting for it to. I was waiting for it to go on sale, but then I'm also just trying to avoid spending the money on it. <laughs> I All bought right. it on sale. I haven't tried it yet because I kind of want to beat uh, five, which I'm having a yeah. hard time trying to do. Definitely beat five first. That is a safe point. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, oh, okay, cool. You say that, and we're going to get our ass kicked by. We we're not <laughs> enemy. Swamps. Enemy encounters, just like uh, Chrono, Chrono Trigger, Super Mario RPG, you run into the fight, and then you basically go into a battle. Shit, we gotta play Chrono Trigger again, man. We gotta actually, yeah. We'll jump in. <laughs> we'll we'll get jump back into that eventually. Yeah, it's been a minute. Um, oh, yeah. Do you remember where we left off? Um, I do not. We're gonna do it. What Don't is this? Don't think I can do anything with that. Oh. Uh -huh. So, just to be clear, all the summons in this game are robots now. Uh, basically. Um, so, Bahamut, fucking, uh, and the rest of them. They are, the crew. they are very unique. I don't want to spoil the, 
the super fun thing about them, but yeah, they they're basically robots. Oh, very well. Yeah. There's oh, definitely well. more of a fo uh, focus on them. Uh, a similar focus to them in this than like it's like FF10 in that way. So there's a focus on okay. on these summons. In this game, they're ki called idolons. Like, in, I like that. Yeah. Which is what they were called in Final Fantasy IX. Which also oh, had a focus. Um, idolons. Yeah, idolons. Oh, cool. They just pronounce you it idolons. idolons in this for whatever reason. Yeah, that's a little weird. Uh, I'll play Warframe, and in Warframe you fight these giant uh, organic mechs, and they're called Eidolons. Ah. I just like the name Eidolon. It's it's a cool name. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it means. It sounds <laughs> good. Yeah. So, because the fight, the uh, battle system is... Or not the battle system. The encounter system is like Chrono Trigger. You can avoid enemies if you want. I mean, I wouldn't oh, cool. entirely recommend it. Um, because... The level system kind of needs you to fight every, like everything as you see it, but the battles are can be faster, uh, quicker paced. But <laughs> ah, I got a potion. All right. Need a potion. Ultimately, this game so, is is like a backseat gamer's wet dream because <laughs> it's a straight line. Seems it seems that way. Yeah, there's it, like no there's no random enemy encounters, are there? There's no random enemy encounters. Like, there's no. Uh, you can't get bogged down too much on side quests or anything. There are side quests, but it's towards the very end of the game, like nearing the end game. Oh, uh, fucking speedrunners would love this shit then. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely something that the girlfriend reviews would probably enjoy. Somewhat. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, you just obliterated him. So yeah. just fucking just turned to ash. <laughs> yeah. One thing, uh, another thing I hate about this is that you don't get to control who's in your party until like the oh, towards the like last few hours of the game. Like oh, you don't gotcha. like your party is gets to, is More basically decided story, by actually. the game and who you're playing as also is decided by the game which is really annoying but it's different it it's a, it's a streamlined attempt at at making a game and i can't the, it makes you realize that the game has a huge sense of urgency which is which is kind of nice but I want. I, I don't want to always play as Lightning. Sometimes I want to play as, as Saz, or I want to play as uh, Hope, or Vanille, or Fang. Characters have really uh, dumb names. <laughs> like, I don't know who the fuck these people are, but okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, how was. Um, I don't know if you've actually played, but how was. Thir uh, not 13. How was 12 uh, before this one? Was it kind of like the same deal? Uh, 12 is is a different monster. I played it a little I played a little of it, but I can never really get into it too much. I think it's set in the same universe uh, same world as Final Fantasy Tactics, but it is basically a lot like Xenoblade Chronicles in that um, you can control anyone you'd like at any given point basically. And it's yeah, some and, machine is done. <laughs> yeah, and the game is a uh, Oopsies, someone ordered to do. And you can also, uh, you basically just run around and fight monsters as, like, without leaving the battlefield at all. Or without joining in, like, a separate battlefield scene. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, you can set up gambits so that <clears throat> when you are uh, doing certain things, like leveling up or, or just fighting someone you haven't really fought before, it will basically just. Uh, it'll be it'll basically program itself to play the way you want it to play, and it'll do it on its own. So, like, if you got, you can you know, like if you're fighting, if you're just grinding, you can tell the game just to attack everything, and then you just hold the controller and just run around, and it'll do all that in every battle. Oh, Whereas, okay. And it, you can also tell it tell the game to heal yourself when you're low when you're running low on health, and it'll do it automatically. 
So basically, it's just straight up auto battle. From like yeah, this guy it, it can, it, it's basically masturbation in the game. So much for the of uh, damn, I ain't the type of words I would use for it, but Don't I. welcome. <laughs> I don't need a tutorial on how to use items. Please don't. Skip it. New tutorial. Shit. <laughs> don't need it. This game is one giant tutorial, and it's annoying. But it's okay. The music is cool. The visuals are really cool. And, you know, sometimes it's fun to yeah, battle. Yeah, game looks great. Yeah. It's a good looking game. Yeah. Uh, if I do say so myself. Well, this is a 360 era, so I mean... Yeah, it's 360 not era. Not all 360 games are, like, butt ugly and bullshit. Yeah. Uh, basically, that tutorial was telling me that I could use an item, like, kind of like an aerosol can. Oh, uh, shit, explosion. Oh, boy. So I can, like, le like use a, an aerosol can of some sort to basically just hide my my appearance, and then I could use that to, like, sneak behind enemies and cause a, like, do a uh, back attack on them and basically be stronger as a result. For that battle. Cool. She yeah. cannot make that jump. Or maybe she can. <laughs> she cannot. Oh, Saz. So they just meet or? Uh, they kind of, yeah, they're kind of working together on this mission just by themselves, really. They just met for this mission. Oh, okay, gotcha. But she was a former soldier who worked for this for this organization this uh world and i think he was just a freedom fighter or just a guy oh, cool. actually she decided to change sides and fight against this city because well we'll see soon oh well it's just like final fantasy 7 well, isn't it kind of like i said she is lady cloud are you Woo. right about that oh lord they shooting oh, they shoot minions at you yep I said, the enemy design for the doors, I kind of I like it. Yeah. Eventually, we will get to the to the leveling up portion of the game, which is similar to Final Fantasy X, but like the, <laughs> like the game in general, it's like a, a lot more system. linear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's called it's the like Crystarium, where you basically get experience points that will let you level up abilities as you encounter them. Uh-oh. This this uh, that that has to be a thing with like a lot of these Final Fantasy games because I like these terms that you're using, I've seen them, I've heard them in fourteen, I've heard a few of them in seven. They all mean like different things regarding like well features in the game. True. Um, Final Fantasies before ten actually had a very all had very traditional leveling up systems. It's only until after after uh, 10 got the ball rolling that they decided to be more inventive with how they level up. Starting to get a little creative. Yeah, they wanted to be a little bit more creative in the leveling up process. Which yeah, I don't remember, can I don't be annoying much. to some people. Go ahead yeah, and save the game. I don't remember too much how, uh, <laughs> yeah. how 15 was as far as... Mm -hmm. Was it 15? Yeah, it was 15 as far as like leveling and shit went. Yeah. Okay. Get down here, activate this, and I think after that it'll activate a cutscene and we'll play as somebody else, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that said, we'll have to swap over to the next episode. But let's see where this takes us. Oh, it's a boss fight. Oh, this right here. Yeah, oh. let's just let's just do this boss fight and then we'll end the episode. You got the boss? Yeah. Friend of fun. Let's go. Okay, that's a foe. That's straight yeah. up foe. <laughs> you guys don't have faces. Boss fight. Um, you know, it's not gonna happen. We're the main characters, doof. Oh, shit. Oh, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Attack chain, tutorial, don't need that. Blah, blah, blah. Playing with a pro here. I got this. Kick his ass, Andrew. Owie. Basically, you just want to keep attacking the Marauder until he's staggered, and then I can go for the Blitzes. Because he's got... We do more damage to him every time now. Nice. 
Let's do it. Yep. Basically, uh, when he staggered that number up at, at the top, like that's how much more damage we're going to be doing to him. So in this oh. case, all of our attacks are doing 215, 217% more damage. Yeah, he just fades away. <laughs> so yeah, we really want to do as much po as possible on him while he's staggered. But he's dead now. Yeah. This guy's about to die. Unfortunate. his ass. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, Angela, come on. You're getting five star ratings in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how we end this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next episode. Bye. Peace.